What's up everybody? I'm Chris. We're here at Rio on Windy Cape Hatteras and we're checking out the all new Solo V2 from Liquid Force. The Solo is the one strut kite that took the kite world by storm last year. It's been one of our favorites at Rio because it's really versatile and user friendly. Um, and the Solo V2 has some awesome improvements that are going to improve durability and performance. So the first thing we noticed when we pulled the new V2 out of the bag is it has a really cool reinforced trailing edge. So there's a, a Dacron-like material on the trailing edge and it's kind of scalloped in and out. That pattern is going to maintain tension in the canopy when you're flying and it's going to reduce flutter and wear and tear on the kite. So not only are you improving performance, but you're also improving durability with that new trailing edge. You can also see additional reinforcements on the leading edge wingtip. There's an abrasion and stretch resistant material on the leading edge wingtip. So again, abrasion resistance, you're going to improve durability and you're uh, also going to improve performance because it's stretch resistant as well. The canopy on the V2 is made out of a triple ripstop. So there's only one strut in this kite. There's a ton of open exposed canopy area, but it's strong canopy material. It's got triple ripstop, so it's way less likely to stretch or tear. And if you do somehow get a tear, it's going to be way easier to contain that tear and not have it spread across the kite. Another update for the V2 Solo is they've changed the bridle configuration. So they've started by making the bridle a little shorter. Uh, that way you're reducing the chance of the bridle catching on the wingtip. But they've also increased the number of attachment points on the centerline bridle. So this is a one strut kite. They've taken the load that comes into the bridles and spread it out across more attachment points than the V1 Solo. So that's going to help the kite maintain its shape and stay true to its size even when you're in powered conditions. And it's also going to help spread the load out across the leading edge, reducing any chance of damaging your kite. The Solo still stays true to its name this edition. The V2 is still a one strut kite. Packs up really small and having only one strut gives you a huge open canopy area that the wind can really catch and keep you powered. The Solo has a huge wind range. Part of it is due to the one strut design and part of it is due to the geometry of the kite. Each size has an incredible wind range and it depowers very well. The design of the kite also relaunches almost instantly. So when you crash the kite, it really wants to roll up onto its wingtip and wait for you to grab the bar, steer it back up into the sky. Who's going to want the Solo V2? The V2 Solo fits in the same category of riders as the previous Solo. Beginners, dedicated free riders, maybe the guy that likes to take a run in the surf, and it's also really good for foil boarding. So a beginner is going to love this kite because it has a huge wind range, it's easy to fly and it relaunches well. A dedicated free rider is going to love that it has huge boost, big hang time. And if you do a huge boost, you're probably going to crash every now and then. You might love that instant relaunch too. You can check out the new Solo V2 in a huge range of sizes. It comes in 4.5, 6.5, 9m, 12m, 15.5m, and 17.5m light wind edition. All the sizes are a joy to fly and they have a huge wind range to round out your quiver. You can learn more about the Solo V2 at realwatersports.com.